me to the penthouse to help with Morgan, knowing I'd be there and I could handle it myself. That wasn't fair. I'm sorry. Do you think you can be mad at me later? I need your help. I want to find my father. Can you help, please? Listen, man. I just, I can't do this, Sonny. Take him. Thank you. Okay. Morgan's asleep. How'd you do that? I put him in his crib and I just pulled the blanket. No, 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 don't, don't do that, that, that thing right there. Like, it was so easy. Sonny, I did everything. I talked to him, I sang to him, I rocked him, I bounced him on my knee. I, I danced with him. I gave him his bottle, his pacifier, his rattle. All I did was cry. He was sleepy. Oh, please. When Jason was there, he was fine. But the minute, no, no, the instant Jason left, he fell apart. He gets cranky at bedtime. He was afraid for his life, Sonny. He saw right through me. Sam, he's a baby. No, he's let's, too let's to... face it. I am hopelessly unfit to raise a child. Morgan has the same little freckles on his hip that Michael and I do, and the doctor agrees that it's a birthmark. We didn't get it from my mother. But there's no way to know who your father is. Well, Mama insists that it was just one of her jobs. Jason, I can always tell when she's lying. She knows something. She's just not telling me. But fortunately, look, she wrote her down. This, this is Bobby's diary. Yeah, I borrowed it. It's for a good cause. Oh, I found a clue in there. Jason, listen to me. Just, I want you to read it. Something popped out, and I want to see if you notice it, too. Because if you do, then it's a place where we can start. I'm not going to violate Bobby's privacy. I have a right to search for my father. <sighs> okay, just tell me what you found. My mom was not just turning tricks. She got romantically involved with a boy her own age. She, she was in love. Jason, a teenager in love, and she writes about this guy with the initials JD all over this diary. That doesn't mean that this guy's your father. I can find him, Jason. I just I need just some can't help. I just think that you're setting yourself up to get hurt. Okay, I might be, and I'll, I will take that chance. I have a right to know the, the, the genetic heritage that I've passed on to my son. When you're talking to the wrong person, you should take that up with Bobby. I already did. She refused to help me. Well, maybe that should tell you something. Find this guy in here with the initials JD. I will have a name. I will have a face. I will. I will have a medical history. A, a paternal yeah, family okay. if, tree. If you find this guy, you're gonna have a pile of facts about the man who got your mom pregnant. But you're still not gonna have a father. A father is a man who sticks around to raise his daughter. Bobby did not stick around to raise me, and she loves me just the same. Who knows, Jason, maybe, maybe this guy do, will do, too. My do, you, do you hear yourself? You're already starting to make things up about a father you might not ever find. Please, Carly. Don't do this to yourself. Just let it go. Okay. Uh, a few hours with cranky baby who barely knows you is is not a fair test on your mothering skills look i'm reading baby books i ordered a bunch of dvds i'm following all the information the pediatrician gave me and i am still a disaster where's this coming from sir? did you see the way i was holding him sonny i felt like i was gonna drop him at any time or, or squeeze him too tight or tilt his head wrong or... when you were a kid did you babysit <laughs> you are kidding aren't you Oh, so this is the first baby you're yeah, taking care of? Yeah, quite obviously. Well, you gotta give yourself a break, you know? Sonny, I never had a pet. A houseplant, yeah. Died in a week. You took care of your brother? You saved him, you loved him, you helped him get well? That's different. He wouldn't be where he's at if it wasn't for you. It's different. No, it's yeah. not different. Look, it, it, it shows what kind of person you are, what, what kind of mother that you'll be. Strong, loyal, protective. When you love someone, you love them with all your heart. I have no doubt that 
when you see your newborn child, you are going to love her more than anything you've ever loved in your life. You are going to be great as a mother or a daughter. So, I gave, uh, I gave Morgan his bottle, right? He started to cry, wouldn't stop. So I did everything I could, just like you probably did. You know, I fed him a little more, looked at the diaper, I rocked him. I tried to sing a little bit, but I'm not very good. Okay, what, what was the matter? Well, he, uh, he needed to be burped. I knew that. I just forgot. So he, he kept crying, and I started to panic a little bit, right? Right, and what? Until he fell asleep? Well, or? until he, yeah, until he burped himself on his own, you know? And then I remembered, I said, you know, I gotta put him over my shoulder and I gotta just pat him <laughs> on the back. Right? Well, you're not gonna forget to do that again. No. I'm sure. I'm not. So? Yeah, you are so at ease with your boys. I just can't imagine you panicking over anything. Yeah, but see, you don't understand. I didn't, I, I didn't live with Michael until he was a toddler, so this, you know, taking care of a baby day to day is new to me, too. You caught on fast, Sonny. If you ever need any help with the, with the baby, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm right here. Don't worry about it. I'll be there. Okay? It's just that this feels so crazy. I just, I never dreamed of having a home life. I didn't expect any of this. Being pregnant with your daughter, looking forward to motherhood. And yet here I am. This is my life, and it's good. It's good. It's better than good. What's wrong? She just kicked. Nah. <laughs> yeah. You're bad. Really? There. Okay. <laughs> hey. Hey, little girl. You hear daddy's voice? Probably don't recognize me right now, but you know what? When you come out, you will. Wait, I think she's... Hey! <laughs> <laughs> because I'm going to hold you real close and I'm going to love you for the rest of your life. What do you think of that? I couldn't get Morgan to sleep, so Sonny did it, and... He reassured me it doesn't mean I'm going to be a disaster. I'm a parent. I, I, look, I don't, I don't mean to interrupt, but i got to talk to Sonny about business. Okay. I'm going to go to Kelly's for dinner if you want to join me. Yeah, yeah, I'll meet you there. Okay. Thank you. Anytime. Hey, just, uh, you know, be careful with Sam. What does that mean? Well, I just... Look, she knows that you guys will never be together again. Yeah. But obviously, you know, she's in love with you still. She made peace with the situation. She's, you know, she's looking forward to being a mother. She's happy. Good. I hope so for her sake. Was that the business you wanted to no. talk to me about? No. Faith escaped from the hospital. Good. a prison tragedy can be tricky we we have to get rid of faith while she's running rick is going to be all over this but faith has to die by accident okay can't be any proof that we were involved uh -huh. is that gonna be a problem no you need to find justice because wherever justice is faith will be close by thanks a lot i didn't say a word Oh, okay, so just out of the blue, my dad is convinced that Jax and I have slept together. Courtney, I'm discreetly hinted that maybe it wasn't the best night to drop in on you because you already had company, that's all. Okay, you know what, Lois? Discreet isn't your best event. I'd like to get everybody's attention, please. I, uh, I'd like to clear a little thing up here. Jax and I 
have not slept together, okay? However, there is an excellent chance that we will sleep together at a future date. And in the event Jackson and I do have sex, I will be sure to keep you all informed.